Did you know that the average person spends about nine and a half hours in front of a digital device? That's a long time. And I actually bet that number is going up every year. Digital eye strain is real, okay? Just about everything we do these days is done in front of a computer screen, a tablet, or a cell phone. And your eyes feel it. There's a reason why at the end of the day, your eyes are tired. You may have dry eyes, double vision, blurry vision. I've even heard cases where people don't even feel like they could safely drive home. That's how tired their eyes are from their day. So it doesn't matter if you're working, studying, reading a book, watching a video, or taking a picture. Your eyes are getting tired because of those things. So I want to take a moment and tell you about digital eye strain. Because if you know about it, if you inform yourself, you'll know how to take better care of your eyes. And if you take better care of your eyes, trust me, at the end of the day, life is much better that way. So keep on watching this video. I have a lot to tell you. How's it going everybody? Oliver here for Eye Influence and I want to thank you on behalf of your eyes for watching this video. <laughs> Believe it or not, most people don't take the time to learn about how to take care of their eyes, the well-being of their eyes, or figuring out why their eyes aren't performing as well as they could. So I wanted to start with that. You're doing a good thing. <laughs> so what is digital eye strain? Well, it's the byproduct of our day-to-day -day routines. We're spending more and more time looking at things in the near vision range, whatever resolution it may be set to. And your phone may be the latest and greatest, the tablet, the same thing. But the fact of the matter is that your eyes are spending a lot of time focusing in the intermediate. Okay, that's about arm's length, let's say, about two feet. So when you spend that much time focusing on something that close, your eyes are actually working extra hard. Your eyes actually are more relaxed when they're looking at something in the distance, something maybe about 20 feet or further. Right? So when we spend so much time focusing on a computer screen, for example, our eyes are having to stress and strain to keep our eyes in that position because our eyes actually slightly converge. They slightly come together. You're not blinking as much. You're probably indoors. So you're not getting fresh air. All these things play a part in digital eye strain. Now the question is, what can we do to take care of our eyes? The thing that's going to help the most and truth be told, it's the thing that most people have the most trouble doing is taking a break. About every 20 minutes, step away, turn away, look away from that digital device and blink for about 20 seconds. And not only that, look out into the distance, something further than 20 feet. Your eyes are actually going to be able to refocus. The muscles of the eye are going to relax a bit more. When you come back from that little break, your eyes are going to feel refreshed. They're going to feel healthy. They're going to feel rejuvenated. And they're going to thank you at the end of the day for doing that. It's a short, small little trick, but believe it or not, it's what people have the most trouble doing. The other thing is try to get some fresh air because when you're indoors, you're probably just breathing in some recycled air, whether through an AC unit or you have a fan, which is worse, but go outside and get some air, get some fresh air and don't go outside just to look at your phone. Literally go outside, look at the trees, look at the sky, do something other than stare at a digital device and then come back and get back to work. I highly doubt that it's going to be something that's going to interfere with your workday that much. It doesn't have to be exactly every 20 minutes. Try as best as you can to start involving that in your daily routine and you'll see that at the end of the day, your eyes are going to feel fresh. Your eyes are going to feel much healthier and you won't feel so tired and burned out. There are a few other things that you could do to also take care of your eyes. If you feel like your eyes are really dry, you could use artificial tears. Those you could get over the counter at CVS, Walgreens, or wherever you want to go. Um, but artificial tears are useful for a lot of people. Uh, another thing, another thing that is really growing in popularity are computer glasses. Companies such as Felix Gray are really good. I actually did a review on that product, so I'll leave a link below so you can check that out. Gunner Optics is another one that has been very popular with gamers and people in the tech industry. So those are just a few. I'm sure there's many Pixel and of course there are for those that wear prescription glasses, you could get certain coatings on your lenses to really help reduce the glare from the reflections that are created by those light sources, which are the digital devices. So there's a few different things, but the main thing that I'm going to suggest is to take those breaks. So I have a few other videos. If you want to learn more about computer glasses, if you want some product reviews, I'll leave the links below. 
I just didn't want to hit you with too much because sometimes the simple suggestions are actually going to make the biggest difference in your quality of vision. So I hope this video was useful to you. Give it a thumbs up if it was. It really helps other people find it. We're just trying to put out information that's going to help you improve your quality of vision. Once again, I'm Oliver for Eye Influence. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day.